Hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. I hope it's a good day where you are. Granny B's having a real good day. And I just know you're remembering to be kind and treat other people the way you'd like them to treat you. That just makes the world a better place. So, you know, my friend Mary Ann gave me a couple of books that she had in her collection from a long time ago. This book is from 1960. How many years ago was that? Well, it's a lot. So it's called Put Me in the Zoo. And it's written by Robert Lopshire. And let's see why this guy wants to be put in the zoo. It's a simple book. I think you can probably read this yourself someday soon. I will go into the zoo. I want to see it. Yes, I do. I would like to live this way. This is where I want to stay. Will you keep me in the zoo? I want to stay in here with you. Oh, we do not want you in the zoo. Out you go. Out out with you. Why did they put me out this way? I should be in. I want to stay. Why should they put you in the zoo? What good are you? What can you do? What good am I? What can I do? Here is one thing I can do. Look, now all his spots are blue. And now his spots are orange. Say, he looks very good that way. Now look at this, what do you see? Green spots, as green as green can be. Violet spots, say, you are good. Do more, do more, we wish you would. I can do more. Look, this is new, blue, orange, green, and violet too. Oh, they would put me in the zoo if they could see what I can do. I can put my spots up on this ball and I can put them on the wall. I can put them on a cat and I can put them on a hat. I can put them on the zoo and I can put my spots on you. Look at this now, one, two, three. I can put them on a tree. And now when I say one, two, three, all my spots are back on me. Look now, here is one thing more. I take my spots and I make them four. Oh, they would put me in the zoo if they could see what I can do. I take my spots, I take them all, and I can make them very small. And now you see, I take them all, and I can make them very tall. And when I want to have more fun, I take my spots and make them one. Yes, they should put me in the zoo, the things my spots and I can do. See? I can put them in a box. I take them out, they look like socks. And I can put them way up high. Up, up they go, I make them fly. I put them high up in the air, my spots fly here, my spots fly there. I call them back now, one, two, three. Now all my spots are back with me. Tell me, tell me now, you two. Do you like the things I do? Tell me, tell me now, you two. Will they put me in the zoo? We like all the things you do. We like your spots. We like you too. But you should not be in the zoo. No, you should not be in the zoo. With all the things that you can do, the circus is the place for you. 
Yes, this is where I want to be. The circus is the place for me. Wow, he had a lot of spots and he could do lots of things with those spots. Well, I don't have any spots and I don't want to go to the zoo and I sure don't want to be in the circus, but that made that bear awful happy. You know, we all have a little talent somewhere hidden inside and we all have things we can do that are specific to us and make us unique. So if you have something special you do, don't hide it. Don't put it away somewhere. Let it shine. Even if it's just something silly like putting on a bumblebee costume and reading stories to children. That's what I like to do. I like to do other things too, but this makes me very happy. So I hope you're having a happy day and I hope you're letting your uniqueness shine because you're mighty special and Granny B loves you. And I hope you'll come back and see me again real soon. I'll read you another story, okay? Bye-bye.